Hi and welcome. My name is Bonnie. Thanks for joining me today for this practice for the neck, the shoulders, the upper back, and the chest. So the upward, upward part of our spine. So we'll begin in a seated position. We want to sit with a long and tall spine. So you can sit on a pillow, on blocks, any, anything that would make you feel more comfortable. And once you've found you a comfortable seat, you can arrange your legs however you like. Just come to a place of stillness for a few moments. Finding that long spine, so from your sitting bones, stacking the vertebrae, one on top of the other. Upright through the pelvis, creating space in your waist, lifting through the heart slightly, gentle contraction of the abdominals. The shoulders are rolled back and down the back, back of your body. And the crown of your head reaches up towards the sky. And once you've found this noble, honorable seat, let your hands rest lightly and then let your eyes be closed. And we'll just take a few moments here just to find our ground, find a place of centeredness as we move into our practice together. So finding and establishing a comfortable breath a sustainable three-part breath, the inhalation moving into the belly, then the rib cage, and then the upper chest. When you exhale, exhale from the chest, through the body, towards the abdominals. Give them a little squeeze to empty, and then again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Find your mindful attention to your breath. And we'll just take a few more of these long, deep breaths. Allowing the, the body to settle, allowing the mind to settle. The poet Dan Dana Falls, in one of her poems, she says, the mind settles like snow inside a shaken paperweight. So allow that for yourself today. Let's take three more breaths, in and out, no hurry. Gently let your eyes open, maybe just looking down towards the ground in front of you, and then bringing your, your focus back up to your room. So let's fit, place the right hand directly out from the right hip so as a bit of a prop, and then let your right ear drop towards your right shoulder. Just letting the head be heavy the jaw relaxed, your tongue relaxed, left hand stretching out. So walk the fingers away from you as you allow the, the side of your neck to open. Take a, another breath in here. And on your exhale, roll your head, roll your chin to your chest. And then on your next inhale, lift your head back up to center. Place your left hand down as a prop. And then let your left ear drop towards your left shoulder. 
the right fingertips walk away so that you're lengthening the space between your ear and the, and the tip of your shoulder. And just breathe here. Breathe in. Exhale your chin to your chest. Take your time and on your inhale, lift your head back up to center. Good. Bring your arms up now with your elbows about as high as your shoulders. Bring your baby fingers and your elbows towards each other in front of your face. On an inhale, open up your arms and turn your palms out and back. So you'll feel this across the chest and the collarbones. And then on your exhale, your palms turn back towards your face. Bring the forearms together again. Let's do that again. Inhale, turning the palms away. And exhale, back. This time, let's inhale and stretch the fingers up towards the ceiling. Drop your chin down to your chest. Enjoy that stretch. Breathe in. On your exhale, lift your head, bring your elbows back. Open up the arms. We'll put those two movements together. Focusing on the upper back, the chest, and the neck. Reach up, drop the chin. Bring them back down. Inhale, open. Exhale together. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Drop your chin. Exhale. Bring your arms back down and bring your hands back down. Good. Let's bring our feet out now. Let's stretch them right out and give them a little tap. And then bring the soles of your feet together so that your legs make a diamond shape on your mat, on, your, on the ground. Place your right hand on your on your shin, hold on to your ankle. And then sweep your left arm across to the right and then up, back, and down. Fingers circle along the ground in front of you. And then you reach up and back. So you can feel this along the whole length of your spine. Breathing in as you reach up. And then exhale as you circle. It's like circling your fingers in the sand. Breathing in, reaching up to the sky. And exhale, circle in the sand. Let's do one more on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then inhale up. I guess two more, and then exhale down. Bring your hand to your ankle on the left side. Right hand sweeps across to the left, then up and back and down. Move with the rhythm of your own breath. Not mine, but yours. Find a rhythm. Breathing in following that hand with your gaze if that's possible for your neck. One thing about the neck is you always want to keep your neck happy. It goes for your whole body really. Breathing in and out as you circle. Let's do one more. Bring your arm up, and then on your exhale, bring your arm down. Good. Now, bring your hands just behind you. Take your feet out wide, and then keep your knees wide, and then drop your knees down to the right. Press your left hip bone, roll your hip forward in that direction, and then bring your knees down onto the left side, Roll that hip in the left direction. Windshield wiper your legs back and forth. 
breathing in center breathing out and you can start to move your arm swing your arm around touch your shoulder side to side big arm sweeps nice let's do one more on each side Good. And then turning towards the front of your mat, the top of your mat, place your hands down, place your knees down, tabletop position. Knees are directly under the hips and the wrists are right underneath the shoulders. Reach your right arm up, look up towards your thumb, and on your exhale, sweep it under and through. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, take it under. Again, last time, inhale, exhale your arm under, lay on your shoulder and your head, come to thread the needle, press your left hand down a little bit to find more uh, spiral in your spine, and then from there, reach your left hand up, breathe. One more breath in, and then with your exhale, left hand down to press into the ground, bringing both hands back to your mat. Let's do the other side. Let's breathe in and reach up left arm. Exhale, thread it through, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Third time, inhale. Exhale, shoulder ear to the ground. Press down gently into your right hand. Twist a little bit more and then reach up, look up. Another breath in and then exhale your right hand down to press yourself back up. Good. Okay. Tabletop position. I'll go a little bit angled so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to work on the upper back, the sternum, and the scapula. So we're going to drop, first of all, we're going to drop the sternum towards the ground. And we're keeping our shoulders and our arms are extended and just drop down between the shoulders. And then press into your hands, pull the sternum up. Round the upper back slightly as you separate the shoulder blades on the back of your body. Let's inhale, right between the shoulder blades. Breathe in, and on your exhale, drop the chest. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So the shoulders stay stationary as the body moves the chest moving towards the ground, the shoulder blades squeezing together on the back body, and then separating apart as you inhale, exhale, let's do a couple more. Really nice for the mobility in your shoulders. Opening the back, the upper back, and then opening the chest. Good, and then come back to a neutral spine. So right in the middle where your spine is aligned, you've got that natural curve in your spine. Good. Now with your hands, shoulder distance apart, spreading the fingers out wide, we're gonna curl the toes under. Moving towards downward dog, taking our time though to get there. Pressing into the pads of your fingers, lift your knees and press your sitting bones back towards your heels like you would in child's pose. Drop the head between the arms and then peel the sitting bones, the tailbone up towards the sky. You can keep the knees bent here. I recommend it. And then press one heel towards the ground and hold there. Feel the stretch, the Achilles, the calf, the ankle. Breathe. Lift that heel up 
both knees bent, and then press your other heel down. Lengthen the back of the leg. Breathe here. Press your sitting bones away from your wrists. Get long in the side body. Get long in the spine. Your head, your neck is totally relaxed here. Your jaw. Good. And then lift both heels up towards the sky. Knees are bent. And then press your heels both towards the ground. They don't have to reach. But work towards heels, towards the ground. Good. Now, from here, you can walk your feet towards your hands. When you do, keep your feet about as wide as your hands. You can turn your toes out a little bit. And then hold on to your elbows and drop the crown of your head. Knees bent, soft knees. And it's fine to let your hips sway one way and your shoulders the other. So here, we're gonna let the shoulders completely relax. Only time that the shoulders can be up around the ears, so enjoy. Just a couple more. And then walk your hands to your knees. Knees are bent, pull the belly in and roll your way up to stand. Take your time again. There's no rush, no hurry. Come to stand. Step your feet in towards each other. So, mountain pose, your feet are underneath your hips. Hip bones, knees, and the center of your feet. Stand tall, knees are soft, quadriceps slightly engaged. Draw the belly up and the, let the tailbone drop down. So tailbone drops straight down towards the heels. Again, from the, from the pelvis, it's the same as sitting, lifting the waist, lengthening through the waist, lifting the chest slightly, straight up, drawing the, keeping the lower rib cage drawn in rolling the shoulders back and then reaching up through the crown of the head finding intention with your fingers reaching towards the ground good so mountain pose taking a moment there just gazing towards the horizon taking breath and then on your inhale sweep your arms out and reach up and when you exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Slide your hands up towards your knees. Draw your shoulders back. Pull the belly up and fold over your knees. F step back with your right foot. Come into a lunge. And then swing your heel towards the ground. Press into the baby toe side of your foot. And then cartwheel your hands up to warrior two. So find warrior, your shoulders are over your hips, gazing forward, good. Now, let's rotate the palms up. And when you rotate the palms up, rotate your arms back, your shoulders can feel that rotation as well. From this open rotation of the upper arms, Turn the forearms and the palms back down. So the shoulders, the chest is open and the palms turn down towards the, the ground. Now on an inhale, reach both arms up and hold on to your left forearm. I'm gonna draw it back so the palm is facing the back of your mat lunging into that left knee, creating space from the left hip crease to the left fingertips. Now keep the length there as you allow your right hand to slide down the right leg. Nice. On an inhale, back to warrior two. 
another breath in and then on your exhale pivot your feet so that your feet turn out and your heels turn in and then breathe in and reach up exhale goddess pose bend the knees bend the elbows sink the hips breathe in on your exhale right arm goes underneath the left arm eagle arms stretch your hands up inhale rise up into that star pose again and on your exhale drop down into goddess eagle on the other side so we'll do that a few times inhale star right arm goes under eagle arms lift up inhale left arm goes under nice let's do one more to stay right arm under pause and breathe reach your fingers towards the sky feel the shoulder blades on the back of your body separate separating and then on the inhale reach up left side now underneath Wrap your arms. Last time. Breathe. Wide knees. Strong legs. Upright spine. And then inhale. Five-pointed star. And then exhale. And release your arms down. Breathe in and reach up. And on your exhale, pivot and turn. Warrior two on the other side. Draw the shoulders back. Stretch the fingers out in each direction, north and south. Warrior two. Let's roll the palms open again. Roll the shoulders back. Hold the shoulders where they are. Turn the forearms over. Take another breath. Inhale, arms up. Hold your, your right forearm this time as you draw the upper body back and then let the left hand float down to touch on your inhale back to warrior two for a breath and then inhale reach up pivot the feet this time parallel with each other and on your exhale hands behind your back lace your fingers together lead with your chest soft knees fold forward draw the knuckles towards your tailbone and then reach your arms up towards the sky on your inhale look forward lift your chin your chest rise up release your hands reach up Big inhale, exhale, lace your fingers together the other way, awkward way, hinge from your hips, folding forward, drawing the shoulders towards the hips as you lift your arms up towards the sky. Let's do that again. Let's inhale, come up, reach up. On the exhale, lace your hands together, fold forward. One more time, inhale, exhale, lacing your fingers together the other way, folding forward, breathing here. Releasing your hands now down to the ground and walking your hands around towards the front of your mat. Now step back to downward facing dog. Lengthen through your spine, broaden across your upper back, and release your neck, your head. On your inhale, ripple your spine forward into plank pose, and then lower down from your knees or your toes all the way down to the belly. As you inhale, raise the chest, shoulders, head, and hands off the ground. 
press into the tops of your feet. Breathe in, exhale, release your forehead down. Inhale and rise up again. Lift the hands if you can, and then exhale, release. As you inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the chest, and then exhale, release. Good, take your hands now back beside you. Palms are down. On your inhale, this time, chest, shoulders, head, legs. Reach your fingers towards your heels. Breathe in and on the exhale, release. You may want to lace your fingers together again here. Point your index fingers towards your heels as you rise up and then exhale, let it go. Let's do one more. Locust pose. Press into the hip bones, the pubic bones. Reach towards those heels. One more time, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Good. Bend your knees, windshield wiper. You can place your forehead on the ground or your chin. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up and back to child's pose. Folding over your knees or between your knees. Let the arms come back, the hands beside the feet. So the palms turn up. The shoulders here can completely relax towards the ground. Just letting go. Let the breath move into the back of your body. The kidneys the sacrum, the lumbar spine. And then direct your breath up between the shoulder blades. And now, if you can, Breathing in, allowing your breath to move up your spine, filling up from the belly through the ribs and the chest, but this time on the back body, from the tailbone through the lumbar, the thoracic, up towards the, the neck. And when you exhale, the opposite way, down the spine, Letting go. Let's do two more like that. Inhaling up the spine. Exhaling down the spine. Good, nice. Now, let your hands come back underneath your shoulders and press up to tabletop. And then you can cross your ankles and Roll over your feet, if you like, to come to a comfortable uh, seat on your mat. Just uh, come back to that place, bringing your palms together in front of your heart center. And may your yoga practice bring strength to your body, peace to your mind, and love to your heart. Namaste.